Good day, everybody. Welcome to Grace Ministries USA. My name is Ryan Carr. Today's devotional comes from Romans chapter 8, verse 37 through 39. Know in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I'm convinced that neither death nor a life neither angels nor demons neither the present nor the future nor any powers neither height nor depth nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of god that is in christ jesus our lord and my personal savior romans 8 37 through 39 Whenever you skip a rock across a body of water, the rock generates waves or ripples. The strongest ripple is at the center where the rock hits and the ripples transcend throughout the water until we see them no more. The ripples eventually will travel until it is unseen through the water. In reality, What's happening? The ripples are actually moving up and down, not across. That is what creates the wake you see on the surface of the water. God's love can be defined this way because Jesus is the rock at the center who causes the waves of grace to expand. Many of us have Many of us seem to have our own definition of what God's love really is. It's a skewed definition because we are sinful. We know of God's love through his written word in the Bible. God's love is mentioned 361 times in scripture. I'd say it's pretty important. A way to find love is to know grace. The dictionary defines grace as unmerited divine assistance granted to humans for their regeneration or sanctification. When we, the rock, when that rock skims across the water, there will always be a wake. You can't have one without the other. The same is with love and grace. To, to know God's love is to know his grace. Grace is the action of God's love. And love are inseparable. Grace is the powerful ripple effect of God's unending love. For God sent his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, innocent, righteous, to take the penalty of death for our sins it is through Christ that we are forgiven and acquitted grace is the expanse of God's love rippling across the water to reach the hearts of the lost and searching the grace of God is his love for us and it is what fuels our love for him our gift of salvation is God's unconditional love and nothing can or will separate us from that love. Things that happen in our life like anxiety, depression, or the death of a loved one may seem like we are alone and God's love is nowhere to be seen. He is there for us and no matter what we have or are facing, there is nothing that can separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus, our personal Lord and Savior. This week, take some time to skip a rock across that body of water. And when you do, remember this. The ripples are not as they seem, not what you see. We define God's love. God's love is defined through his grace. You see the shift? You see, nothing is what it seems. If 2020 taught us anything, 
It is that nothing is what it seems and God is real. God's word is real. He is with us. He is for us. He goes before. He makes a way. But we, as believers, must surrender daily and die to this flesh, this sinful flesh. It is a constant, intentional, deliberate choice. That's the one that God's looking for. Not because you feel guilty or bad or should I go. Nope. God is doesn't operate in that realm. He operates in the realm of love, joy, peace, hope, goodness, gentleness, kindness. All the days of our lives. Where he doesn't operate is in gossip, stress, fear, worry, anxiety, hurting people intentionally or unintentionally and not caring you see god is love means nothing can come against love joy peace patience gentleness kindness when we operate in that realm we are one with god we are plugged in to our creator the, the of the universe And we are living in line with his will for our life. And that is what he wants for me. That's what he wants for you. Don't waste 40 years like me. Get this now. Get this now. That's my prayer for you. I pray that as you go about your week, that God reveals to you what it is that he wants for you and your life and your circumstance and how he can God indirect you because we are all made in his image. And that's my prayer this week that you get that, that you understand what he is doing in your life individually, specifically you, you watching this right now. And if he does, please tell people about the channel. Give us a thumbs up, a subscribe. That's my prayer to grow the channel, get the message out to help people, to give back. I don't care about the accolades, the money. That's not why I'm doing this. I'm doing this because I love Jesus. And he's changed my life so much that that's my hope for you. And you can't put a price on that. Nope. Can't be bought. God's love is free. It does come at a price, but not a financial price. A sacrificial way of living. And it's not bad. This is good stuff. To live and do well and treat people right. There's nothing wrong with that. Christianity has gotten twisted. It's okay to love God and help people. There's nothing wrong with that. Have a great day. God bless you. Be great. Okay.